good morning good afternoon good evening depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel thanks a lot for the visit a lot of people are asking question now what is the delay what is causing the delay in the ground community why the delay why the delay you know the disbursement supposed to have been done and dusted what is happening so just listen to this we'll see you at the other side ladies and gentlemen in ground community good evening the management of the disbursement committee good evening the management of uag good evening the executive of all grand pressure group of nigeria good evening ceos and great partners of this uh, grant ecosystem good evening beneficiaries prospective beneficiaries of grants in nigeria I remain your friend, Reverend Moses from Abuja. Uh, today is the 19th day of uh, April 2024, and the time is about 5.30. Uh, the level at which we are going endlessly is not healthy for the system. It's not healthy for the people around. It's not healthy for the CEOs. It's not healthy for the beneficiaries. It's not healthy for the community. It's not healthy for the country. We are chief executive officers of our various NGOs, cooperatives, and companies. And we have subscribed to UAG grant since a year and a go. We've been called partners of UAG and I have few questions to ask those in authority to begin to give me answers or give us answers. Number one, are we still partners with UAG? Number two, Someone have a claim that if there is a monkey hand, he's going to expose it. Does it mean that he has not seen any monkey hand anywhere since the project started? Number three. Are we receiving every new week syndrome? Number four. Why is it that every week has a story every week has a story number four i want to ask those who always come out to shield any write-up or any statement in the name of encouragement are we not tired of encouragement those of you who are insisting that we should be patient until one loses patience before you will take it there are so many unanswered questions in the system have we not died enough have we not suffered enough have we not contributed enough have we not cried enough have we not died enough are we not hungry enough so many questions that are waiting our answers from the UAG management and the all grand pressure group of Nigeria's executive. We have thought that we have people who are our watchdogs who will go hunting and uh, deliver to the hunters. These boys have actually tried but since the scenario of being executive and being co-handlers of this grant, the GOB Grand Pressure Group of Nigeria have gone mute in cooperation, swimming in the same direction with UAG management, so much that we don't have any information again and there are no quarters of information. Severally, you have cautioned us to remain silent, not to say anything and wait and see what will happen. Could it be that our silence were not taken 
All our silence is taken for cowardice. All our silence is not quiet enough. Those of you who have uniforms on your chest, who comes out to threaten CEOs and beneficiaries with your uniforms and possibly your guns, I hope you are ready to arrest and prosecute everybody who is tired and hungry, who have buried loved ones as a result of waiting for UAAG or Grand Pressure Group grants. I believe you've built enough cells, enough prison quarters to accommodate the Nigerian populace who will soon be tired of your next week syndrome who will so flop the gates of Abuja and major cities to demand for their rights. If not for any other rights, we have made some sacrifices and contributions to aid UAG where it is right now. And if UAG is not going to deliver to us, <coughs> men and brethren, will it be too wrong to demand for what we have contributed for UAG to be here. I believe we have gone to the extent of borrowing money. We have gone to the extent of lending money. Those management who came out to address the CEOs and demanded for a loan. Loan that was going to come with benefits as promised by some of the top UAG management. If you are not going to give us the grant, even our loan, you will not talk about it. If you are not going to give us the grant, you collected our monies as loan to pay us with benefits. Is it that because we are too mute, you cannot tell us what the benefits for the loan given to UAG management sometimes ago? Everywhere I have remained quiet and mute. Anytime anybody comes out to say anything, uh, some key supporters who are diehards comes out to threaten the masses who want to de uh, demand for their civil rights. I believe where your own civil rights ends, another man's civil rights starts. Those of you who always come out to encourage people. Your encouragement is hard, but it's no longer accepted. This every week, new week, end of the month syndrome is no longer bearable. The government of Nigeria is a hearing government and is ready to listen to her populace. We have suffered and we are getting out of patience. Those in authorities those who are concerned should hear our voice and come to our rescue. With this voice note, I believe soon we will come out to demand for our rights. And I believe that then it will not be too much for crying out aloud. I wish the elders cancel their plea was hard. The elders council plea was not hard. There was a mobility of keen supporters who came out on their platforms to ride against the elders council who stood in to reconcile the warring factions. If you do not respect the elders, we respected the elders and kept quiet. And if you do not respect the elders, we believe you will not respect us. As such, I want to call on the elders' council to go back to their drawing table and officially give us a go ahead to approach the UAG or Grand Pressure Group management and demand for our various rights. We have the rights we are demanding for. And this is our civil rights. The Nigerian government 
very soon we hear our voices on the streets of the federal capital and major cities of Nigeria. I believe UAG management will not allow us to get to that point where everybody will come out on the street to demand for their rights. I wish that something is done fast to rescue the situation. This is a whistle blowing and I know those who know me, I don't come out to say things that are not valuable. I therefore ask all CEOs to get set and be ready. Very soon you will hear a clarion call to action. Thank you very much. Elders Council, thank you very much. UAG Management, thank you very much. The Federal Republic of Nigeria, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, his vice for being a listening government who will listen to our cry this day. We shall not take this thing again before the end of the month. If we get to next month and this every new week syndrome continue, you will leave us with no options than to cry to God and our government for rescue. Remain blessed and God bless you all. I remain Reverend Moses from Abuja. Good evening, everyone. So you heard what he said, what uh, Pastor Moses said, uh, Reverend Moses, whatever he calls himself. Because in this grand community, you are neither a, a reverend, a pastor, an apostle, a bishop. So he's giving them to the end of this month. After which, yeah, this today is 21st. This month has ended. So after which, <laughs> the next point of action will be taken. So see you guys.